The first step is to prepare the patient in Scanora. Open your Scanora software and input your patient's details. Then select the patient from the work list and click CB 3D Capture. On the control panel, select the 2D modality and press the return button to rotate the 2D sensor into position. Then choose your desired imaging program from the options of adult, child or bite wing. Place the appropriate bite piece and chin holder into the unit. Using the screen controls, position the patient so the horizontal Frankfurt plane is aligned from the infraorbital notch to the tragus of the ear and so that the vertical plane bisects the canine. Next, check the centrality of the beam by ensuring the mid-sagittal light aligns with the mid-sagittal plane of the patient. Bring the headrest into position and close the temple supports. Once you are happy with your patient position, press the return button, leaving the settings on automatic exposure. The unit is now ready to take the image. Check the shoulder clearance and ensure the patient crosses their arms and holds the machine handles. Select your desired exposure level on the control panel, protect yourself from radiation, and then press and hold down on the exposure button. During the exposure, you will hear a high-pitched beeping sound and the exposure warning symbol will appear on the control panel. The image has been taken once the machine has completed one full rotation and the beeping has stopped. Your image will automatically be available for analysis in Scanora. After the exposure has been taken, the unit will pause in the patient exit position. Release the patient from the machine and then press the return button to revert back to the start position. The first step is to prepare the patient in Scanora. Open your Scanora software and input your patient's details. Then select the patient from the work list and click CB 3D Capture. On the unit screen, select the 3D modality and press the return button to rotate the 3D sensor into position. Choose your desired field of view, your required exposure level, and then pick your region of interest on the dental arch. Place the appropriate bite piece and chin holder into the unit. Using the manual controls, position the patient so that the horizontal field of view lasers are aligned to your region of interest. Next, check the centrality of the beam by ensuring the mid-sagittal light aligns with the mid-sagittal plane of the patient. Bring the headrest into position and close the temple supports. Once you're happy with your patient position, you are ready to take your scout image. To ensure your image is set up correctly, we recommend taking a low-dose scout. Begin by pressing the return button. On the control panel, select the scout modality, protect yourself from radiation, and then press and hold down on the exposure button. The scout image will appear in the control panel where you can make any necessary positioning adjustments. Height adjustments require manual correction of the chin rest, whilst all other adjustments can be performed using the arrow keys on the unit screen. Retake the scout if major adjustments were made. Select your desired exposure level on the control panel, protect yourself from radiation, and then press and hold down on the exposure button. During the exposure, you will hear a high-pitched beeping sound, and the exposure warning symbol will appear on the control panel. The image has been taken once the machine has completed one full rotation and the beeping has stopped. Your image will automatically be available for analysis in on-demand. After the exposure has been taken, the unit will pause in the patient exit position, release the patient from the machine, and then press the return button to revert back to the start position. In the left-hand column, select DBM, Master Database, and then click on your patient in the main window list. Find the DICOM file that you wish to use and click OK. After opening the file, there is an option to adjust and modify the region of interest by cropping the image or modifying the axial plane. Once you are happy with the image position, click OK. To begin analysis, open the Dental Volume Reformat or DVR application. Whenever you are working with a new image, press the Auto WWL button to create the best quality image. To change the density of the 3D rendered image, click the Teeth button and then select the Bone option. Following this, click the grey Fine Tuning bar to bring up your adjustment options. By moving the horizontal axis, you'll be able to adjust the density of the image, and by moving the vertical axis, 
you'll be able to adjust the opacity of the image. Position the axial plane view according to your region of interest. From the mandibular, it is recommended that you position the plane in line with the mental parameter. For maxillary, it is recommended that plane dissects the tips of the upper teeth. Once you are happy with the axial plane view, you are ready to position the axis and re-slice. Click the Axis and Re-Slice button under the task heading in the left navigation pane. If required, adjust the occlusal plane so it is horizontal. Once you are happy with the position, click OK. Click on the Scout button under the task heading. Ensure that the horizontal plane is in line with the mental parameter. And once you're happy with the position, you're ready to place the arch curve. Click the Arch Curve button under the task heading in the axial panel. Click along the curve in small increments. Double click at the end of the curve. Cross sectional slices can now be viewed in the cross sectional panel. Once you are happy with your analysis, save the project and give it an easily identifiable file name. If required, export the file by clicking the export icon and save it in your desired location. To create a report, click the report icon in the left navigation pane and then select the project you are working on. Using the capture functionality, click on the images you wish to use in your report. Next, go into report mode, where you are able to drag and drop images into the report and make relevant notes. To export and save, press the print icon and save the PDF to your desired location.